New World main story in 5 minutes, spoiler warning of course, and be sure to like and subscribe. You join Commander Thorpe to journey to Eternum. He was enthralled by this mysterious man who somehow had a very important box, more on that later. Your relationship isn't well known with Thorpe, but you're on a name basis and travel together, so you know each other. Crashing through the storm, you arrive on the Eternum, on whichever starting area, and begin exploring. That settlement gives you information on the island. You learn more about the island and death here. Those on the Eternum do not die. Everyone respawns due to Azoth, a magical source of life and power here on the Eternum. This isn't a pure source of immortality though, as those that die too much become lost, these horrid, crippled zombie-like monstrosities. You also learn about the Ancients, some type of people long ago that ruled Aeternum and seem to have had insights into the truth behind Azoth and the Corrupted. This leads us to the main enemy you begin to fight, the Corrupted. A bloodthirsty, almost cult-like army from hell bent on some type of domination or destruction. After encounters with the Corrupted, your faction rep recommends that you go meet an old fisherman who might know more information. This man, Jonas Alazar, sends you on the quest for information, piecing together info on an old society known as the Soul Wardens, who fought against the Corrupted to keep the world safe, but fell long ago. Jonas was once a member of it, though that was ages ago and he had all but forgotten the tragedy over time. Together, you recreate your own Azoth staff, a tool that helps in the fight against the Corrupted that's crafted from your own soul, and begin to rally people to join the Soul Wardens and defeat the true evil on Aeternum. The two of you head north to the old Soul Warden camp in Brightwood and begin to recruit individuals for the war effort against the Corrupted. You start with the leaders of the three factions, the Covenant in Brightwood, the Syndicate in Weaver's Finn, and the Marauders in Cutlass Keys. Helping out the first two and getting them to agree, you then head down to the Marauders. When talking to them, you find out Commander Thorpe is now a leader of the Corrupted, a self-proclaimed Tempest, and you set out to deal with them as part of getting the Marauders to join in and for vengeance. He's killed your men, and while Jonas is rallying the leaders of the factions to listen to your plea, you head to the depths. Carve your way through and defeat Thorpe in the easiest boss battle in the game. Just kidding. Afterwards, you return to the camp to find out the Corrupted have attacked. The true leader of the Corrupted, the real Tempest, Isabella, simply used Thorpe as a distraction to attack while you were away. Quick tangent on Tempest, we aren't quite sure what this is. There are remarks in lore that showcase some type of entity speaking to Isabella and maybe even controlling her, but we aren't quite sure. All we know is that Thorpe claimed they were a Tempest, and Isabella is considered the true Tempest. Yona seemed to know Isabella though, no one really knows how, and you find out she was seeking the box that Thorpe had brought to the island. The Solar Wardens didn't have it, and she annihilated them, corrupting Jonas so you had to bring him down. The war was now personal, having lost our friend and ally, Jonas. Rallying the remainder of the troops in Restless Shore, you seek answers and find journals that say the box that Isabella is searching for contains part of her soul. If she gets this, she will be strong enough to demolish the rest of Aeternum. We set off to find the box before Isabella could. Turns out it was hidden in Eden Grove with the angry earth, however we have failed and Isabella has regained it. It's time for desperation. Having learned that the blight of the angry earth can be used against the corrupted as a powerful weapon, you go through hurdles to gain the angry earth's trust in order to be allowed to blight the mother well. The mother well is the heart of the angry earth, and blighting it is believed to allow the blight to grow stronger and use it as a force against the corrupted. The mother well also keeps the storm wall, the powerful barrier around the island, to keep all in. This is an issue because another leader of the corrupted, the Empress in Ebenskill Reach, has amassed a large fleet of the Corrupted to leave Aeternum, given the chance, and return to take her home. You make a deal with the Angry Earth. If you destroy the fleet, they'll allow you to blight the Motherwell. You head to Ebenskill Reach, destroy some ships, duel Isabella herself, slay a Corrupted Empress, and then return to Eden Grove. You further cement the blessings of the leaders of the Angry Earth, gather an army to take down the Guardian of the Motherwell, and then blight it. And with that, the main story is complete for the time being onwards to Shattered Mountain to rally with the Soul Wardens and continue the fight against the Corrupted.